Does this look familiar? Up to 75% of all collisions occur at a fairly low speed by distracted drivers. Those accidents cost drivers and passengers in both vehicles a lot of time and money. But now Volvo is once again leading the way with a new advanced safety technology that is making people safer. Welcome to our test track in the Old Harbour in Gothenburg, Sweden. Volvo is a name that evokes images of quality, beautiful design, environmental care and of course safety. It is a company that has invented and perfected many of the standard safety features found in every modern car, such as a three-point safety belt. City safety is a support feature designed to help drivers avoid collisions when driving in slow-moving, heavy traffic. The XC60 is the world's first vehicle to come with this feature as standard. The car brakes by itself helping to reduce or avoid injuries to people in both cars by completely avoiding or helping to reduce the effects of a collision. An infrared laser sensor monitors the area directly in front of the vehicle and assists the driver by applying the brakes. It's active at speeds ranging from approximately 2 to 18 miles per hour and it illuminates the brake lights. It is always on unless you turn it off manually but it will be back on the next time you start the car. We're going to show you three scenarios that City Safety was specifically designed to address. Now it's time for a test drive with our first customer. The balloon in front of us represents a car that we are approaching a little too quickly. The infrared laser sensor detects cars directly in front of us within 18 feet. City Safety prepares our XC60 for a rather quick slowdown as we near a possible collision. You can see this is not a subtle action. The brakes are engaged quickly. That sound was the ABS pump <laughs> activating to apply the brakes. As I said, City Safety works in low-speed, slow-moving traffic. However, it's important to take note of these points. If the relative closing speed is between 9 and 18 miles per hour, it will help to reduce the consequences of a collision. If the relative speed is between 2 and 9 miles per hour, it may help to avoid a collision altogether. City Safety is designed to detect objects that are similar in size and shape to another car, like this balloon. It applies brakes at approximately 50% of the vehicle's full braking force. And it will only react to cars that are directly in front of you within 18 feet, as long as they are moving in the same direction or even cars that are not moving. In this situation, we're traveling less than 9 miles per hour as we approach the stationary car represented by the pylons. City Safety will engage the brakes as we get closer to the pylons, stopping us completely without a collision. If we were traveling between 9 and 18 miles per hour, City Safety would slow us down to reduce the effects of the collision. City Safety will hold the car stationary for one and a half seconds after coming to a stop. This gives the driver time to put a foot on the brake pedal. If not, the vehicle will start creeping forward again. Here we are on an obstacle course. As we move, City Safety allows us to steer around the first two balloon cars without engaging the brakes. Since City Safety ignores those cars off to the side, the driver controls the vehicle without interference. But as we arrive squarely behind the parked car, City Safety readies itself to engage the brakes by bringing the brake pads closer to the rotors. Then, at the last moment, it brakes. Oh my wow. As you can see, City Safety is very sophisticated, helping to keep drivers and passengers safe in low-speed driving situations. So, let's recap the key features and answer some of the most commonly asked questions. City safety will only work between 2 and 18 miles per hour. It senses if a car directly ahead is moving slower or standing still. 
If the relative closing speed is between 9 and 18 miles per hour, it will help to reduce the consequences of a collision. If the relative speed is between 2 and 9 miles per hour, it may help to avoid a collision altogether. This may reduce whiplash injuries by 50% and many of the damages commonly seen in accidents of this kind. City safety responds to cars directly in front within 18 feet of the front bumper. It is not designed to react to objects that are smaller than cars, such as people, bicycles or animals. City safety cannot warn the driver when it's going to engage the brakes, because it responds too quickly. However, due to the abrupt nature of the braking, the driver's attention should return to controlling the vehicle. The XC60 is the first vehicle in the world in which this type of feature is standard. Volvo suggests reading the owner's manual to learn more about city safety and how it works. City safety is not affected by bright sunlight or darkness, but it may be affected by weather conditions. And the windshield needs to be clear for the city safety sensor to work properly. City safety works together with other cutting-edge features that are synonymous with Volvo. It reminds us that Volvo is committed to its holistic approach to safety, to protect everyone. Finally, it's important to remember that nothing replaces the driver's responsibility to be attentive and engaged when driving. City safety is a supplemental aid to the driver. It can never replace the driver's attention to traffic conditions or the responsibility for operating the vehicle in a safe manner. Aside from turning city safety off manually, the driver can override it by aggressively steering or accelerating. Thank you for taking the time to learn about city safety and how Volvo continues in leading the way in developing new advanced safety technology. Drive safely.